welcome to Jessica Rand TV. Today we're diving into digital planning using the Zodo app on a Samsung Galaxy tablet with a stylus. So Zodo on Android, especially using the Samsung Galaxy tablet with a stylus, is an absolute game changer because it really brings in that tactical experience for digital planning. Now in this video we're going to cover setting up your digital planner customizing it and using some of the basic features in the Zodo app. With a little bit of practice, you'll be a digital planning pro in no time. Now, if you're excited, hit that subscribe button and let's get started. All right, guys, so now I've got the 2024 key planner on the Samsung Galaxy using the Zodo app. So one of the things that you'll be able to do is just go through and navigate the planner as you would as a physical planner but in a digital format. So one of the first things that you might want to do is to just look and check your settings. Now as you can see here quite often this defaults to vertical scrolling. So when it's vertical scrolling that means you're looking at your planner and going through all of the tabs and navigation in a vertical sense. So if you prefer to go horizontal, so then it's X as the planner is, then that is where you will change that. So that's in the viewing mode, and that's using this button here. So let's go back to the beginning. So the key planner has all of these tabs up here that are fully hyperlinked. So you've got your index page, which is the last tab, and also that home page icon takes you there. You've got your monthly pages. When you click on a month, it'll take you to your daily page. If you want to go to the weekly layout, you can select the week, or just go home page to go to index. Index, all of these pages here is clickable. So if you want to go to plain pages, you select that, go back to index, dotted, Select that, go to index. Lined pages, if you want to do journaling, select the home, go back. You've also got what's inside, but I'm also going to produce another walkthrough video that you can watch. I will be using my iPad for this one, um, so you can watch this video next. So let's get started with the basics of using Zodo. So the first thing that you want to sort of like notice is up here you've got a toolbar so you just select that so you, it gives you view mode, annotate, draw and then you've got all these other selections here um, that you could use and have a little play around with. First of all let's go to a planning page right so let's just select a day. So the great thing about digital planning, as you know, is you can zoom, you can just check out all the different tools that you've got here. So we've got a pen tool, you've got an erase tool, you've got crops. So let's just quickly, let's just try a pen, shall we? Let's change the color to something cooler. You can adjust the stroke depending on the thickness you want, opacity which is um, basically how transparent it is. So let's just go in and write. Hi. And then you've got, if you don't like this, you've got an erase tool, which you can select up here. You can select various sizes, depending on what you want to erase. And it erases. Voila. Let's try another tool, shall we? So if we go into the draw feature, quite often when I'm planning or time blocking, let's go back to a, oops. So another thing too, when you want to flick between hyperlinks and actually using the tools, you need to make sure you've deselected the tools. So let's just go into a, oh, let's try a weekly page. So a great thing that you can do here is obviously you can change the colors so let's just go for i don't know like a pink i love using pink oopsie oh look at that you can draw squares cool so if you're a time blocker like me this is so convenient and handy because you can just time block 
and then you can go back to draw and then you can write oops what that is wow that's a very big stroke but that's okay because I can erase it if it helps if I select the erase tool oh. so that's how you do a shape if you want to time block that way let's try something else shall we so you can go into the annotate say for instance you want to type you can select the text box place it right there and you can type into your planner so there are a lot of really cool tools including holding down you could even write in here if you've got heaps of stuff you want to write. I want to write loads oops, of things. Like say for instance if you want to do your journaling prompts. Say there you go. So a lot of really cool tools that you can navigate through and just bring that digital planning experience using the Samsung Galaxy as well as an iPad. So this is the Key Planner in a nutshell. Thank you for watching. And there you have it. I hope you found this tutorial on digital planning with Zodo helpful. Now, if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below to stay updated with more tips and tutorials here on Jessica Ray TV. Now, if you're someone who loves the feel of a physical planner in your hands, I've got a fantastic news for you. The 2024 Weekly Planner is currently available for pre-order and will start shipping in from November 2023. Now, for the ultimate productivity package, why not secure both the 2024 physical and digital planners together? It's the perfect combination to supercharge your productivity, organization, and get focused on your goals. Plus, you're safe by bundling them together. To grab this amazing bundle deal, head over to thekeyplanner.com and don't miss out on this opportunity to make 2024 your most productive year yet. Thanks again for joining me today. Feel free to leave any comments or questions below. I love hearing from you. Until next time, stay organized, stay productive, and slay your day. Thank you for tuning in to Jess Karen TV. You can't be losers.